depending on how long you've been a subscriber of the channel, you may or may not know about Pokemon Cobalt and Amethyst, which is Pokemon in vanilla Minecraft is a project that I led back in 2014 to 2017 with a bunch of people and we created a brand new Pokemon game in Minecraft. Now that was back in 2017 when Minecraft was still a 1.8. And then I made bowling in Minecraft back in 2018. That was a solo project and it was far less complicated than Pokemon, but it was still very fun. So just throw it straight here just to get the spare. And accuracy is totally important and I've made the spare, which is really cool. And nice there we go, got another achievement. So I've decided to start making baseball in Minecraft and there's been a few months already. I've been live streaming all of this. So if you want to check out all of the progress that I've made, you can check out the live streams. You can also follow me on Twitter where I'll be posting a lot of updates because I don't know how many videos about this I'm going to make. But here is some gameplay that I'd like to show you. Play ball! Strike! Strike! You're out! Change sides! Foul ball. Foul ball. Strike. Single. This is a baseball field that I've been building on live streams um, with a lot of the help of the channel members. So thank you so much uh, for helping out. You guys can see a lot of your skins. Uh, RTTV. You are the hitter. A lot of people have just moved around, so we've got the pitcher, third base, second base, shortstop. Uh, I've got first base there, right field, center field, left field. Um, and if you guys are curious, why is an Aussie making baseball and not cricket? Um, I love baseball. I love cricket too, but I just wanted to make baseball because I'm a bigger fan of baseball than cricket. Nevertheless, um, this is the entire field is working with all the dimensions required, so everything is scaled to near perfection. Um, this is the size of a baseball base or bag. It's a curious thing, um, but it is because of the scaling in Minecraft. I've said time and time again, scaling in Minecraft is weird. The bag is smaller than a person's head in Minecraft. And the baseball, which you will see later, well, actually the baseball is in his hand right now, uh, is very small as well. <laughs> now I've got the, uh, the batter's box. We've got the catcher, which is Seth Bling. You can see Mumbo Jumbo is in the outfield. Let me just fly to the outfield real quick. So left field is there. Center field and right field. So we've got Mumbo right there. We've got the batter's eye. Uh, this is the entire field. I kind of modeled it off of target field because I love uh, the twins. And that's kind of the dimensions that I've decided to go with. Um, this will be the scoreboard. Now, the reason why there's a black, massive blackboard over there, which is not normally what you see, um, is because I needed a way to show the scoreboard while the players are playing. So... I can't just have a scoreboard over here. It's not going to look very good. So the way I'm going to display the scores, like the hits, um, based on balls, errors, all the stats that you see when you watch baseball on TV, um, they're all going to be over here. Now, that's only the perspective of the hitter. Now, if I go and start pitching, which will be this camera angle at 30 FOV, whoops, 30 FOV, it's probably going to be over here. So the player will be able to see what the score is while they're playing. I only have that over here because it's in development. The astute among you will realize that there are no dugouts. We actually had dugouts here to begin with, but this, if you've been following the live stream, you'd know that this entire area has been asymmetrical. <laughs> it's just completely wrong. So we had to delete everything and start over. Um, so that's why there are no dugouts right now. I'm going to have to close this area too because a lot of pop fly balls have ended up having the catcher run outside the stadium. So this area, uh, which is just like a bathroom, there's an exit right here. Um, this will have to be closed off, unfortunately. So uh, it's been so funny seeing the catcher just run outside the stadium trying to catch a fly ball, which is above the stadium right here, which is obviously impossible. Um, a lot of details are missing, of course. We are still missing the backstops, the netting, that's missing as well. Um, bullpen's going to be over here. Uh, the foul pole is actually to scale, believe it or not. This is how high the foul pole is. Again, scaling in Minecraft. Very weird. I might draw something over here, like some sort of message. I don't know what to write. If you have any messages you want to add, leave it in the comments. I'll refer to this video a lot. 
because uh, I don't know how many videos about this I'm going to make. Certainly going to be one of very few. What happened to the foul pole here? Did someone delete the foul pole? The left field foul pole was missing. There, that was weird. I don't know. I have to check on the server if that's gone. <laughs> I don't know what's ha what happened. Yeah, and I plan to have some crowds over here as well. If Right now it feels like a spring training ballpark. Um, I don't really care, but it'd be nice to have stands over there as well. It makes it look like it's homey, very crowded, a lot of people watching, which is contrary to what's happening right now in real life. Okay, let's play it. So pitching just starts the game. Right now there is no scoring system available. It's just measuring the count and things just reset every now and then. But hitting is now working from fouls, strikes, balls, Base hits, flyouts, it's just base running isn't done and the fielding logic isn't done yet. All right, here we go. So I'm going to show you all the pitches that I've coded in right now. So this is just a four seam fastball. There we go. That's a ball. So I'm going to take that one. That's a strike. 95 miles an hour. So that's another strike right down the middle. All right, so I struck out. That's fine. We'll try again. <laughs> That's a foul. I was right in the hands. So funnily enough, sometimes when the ball just flies over the stadium, you can see Seth Bling just run outside. <laughs> Alright, so that's a ground ball. So it says in play, but clearly he'd just throw it first and that'd be a ground out. That's a base hit. Nice. That's a base hit to right field. So how this works, the whole hitting system measures the timing of the hit. So because Minecraft runs at 20 frames per second, or 20 ticks per second, the only way I'm going to determine whether a ball is pulled or if a ball is hit to the opposite side of the field is really just based on timing and the location of the pitch. That's all I can do. That's another ground ball, so the catcher actually picked that up. Alright, so now it's a two-seam fastball that he'll throw. So there's some tailing action going inwards to the left-handed hitter. Alright, that's a good pitch. All of them are left-handed right now. The pitch is left-handed, the hitter's left-handed. I'm just programming lefties for now. I don't know why I picked lefties. Maybe it's because of the lack of representation for lefties. That's why I did it. But it's all southpaws. I'm going to go with righties later, but I just want to make sure everything's working. So, there's another pull hit. There's a tendency in real life for major league hitters to actually pull the ball. I think that's why subconsciously I did it. That's another pull hit. But that's going to land, right? No, okay, so that's gonna catch that one, inning end. You would have seen a yellow marker on the ground, that is the height of the ball, because there's no way for the camera to look up, you're fixed right now. There will be other camera options, so here is a slider, breaks away from the hitter, that's another strike, a lot of strikes, give me a ball, okay that's in the dirt. Here is a changeup, 85, here is a splitter which is basically a sinker, there. It's actually kind of hard to hit a splitter in this game. I may need to fix that. It seems like it's just a huge like hammer. Okay, so here is a curveball, which doesn't look really good. Wow, that hit me. Yeah, I haven't done hit batters yet. Okay, uh, yeah, I might remodel the curveball later, but again, the focus right now is getting the gameplay working. That's another dirt pitch, yeah. The curveball might not be the best pitch right now. Let's try one more. Yeah, that's weird. <laughs> Again, it's hard to see though. It's really hard to tell. Again, yeah, wow, that's just crazy. The action on that pitch. Yeah, it's hard to hit. Some other things to note is like the ball can literally sail outside the stadium and these guys will be dumb enough to run into a wall sometimes. But they'll realize that the play cannot be made and they'll just stop running. Just a couple more things to cover. I have made this before. You might remember that I tried to make this a long time ago and I stopped because the commands just changed completely. <laughs> so there was a lack of intent to continue. And finally, if you are a voice actor and you'd love to voice act for this game, email me with something such as like strike calling, anything that showcases your ability to voice act for this game, let me know. Otherwise, a lot of this work will be done through live streams. So don't start posting like whether you want to be in this game <laughs> because they'll be done through live streams. So like one time in those videos, I used to say things like, if you want to be in this game, put your in-game name in with your preferred position in baseball. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for supporting this project. If you'd like to join in the live streams and follow me on Twitter. And as usual, you can subscribe to the channel for updates too. Thank you for watching. Leave a like, subscribe for more creative content. Big project number three. Take care.